Question number five. They've given the volume of cuboid one to eight zero meter cube, and the ratio between breadth and height is five ratio four. Length is given as sixteen meters. And what you have to find here is you have to find the breadth, the height, as well as the total surface area. So breadth is five ratio four. Breadth and height. So let the breadth and the height be five x and four x. Now we have length, we have breadth, and we have height. Apply the formula of volume. Volume of cuboid is L into B into H. Putting the value of volume L into B into H. Now uh, keeping x on this side and whatever the numbers are there, taking them to the left. Here we are multiplying on shifting uh, to the other side. They will be dividing. One to eight zero divided by sixteen into five into four. Directly you can cancel the terms instead of multiplying them. And on reducing you get four is equal to x into x. There are two ways of doing it. Four can also be written as two into two. That's in a square form. And here it's x into x. Choosing one from each pair. Choosing one from each pair. The value of x is equal to two. In case you don't want to do the question in this way, four is equal to x into x, which we get as x square. And when we remove the square from this side and shift it to the other side, it becomes square root. Or we can write rooting both the sides. So square root of four is equal to x, and the value of x is equal to two. It's the same answer. Then we have to find breadth. Now, on getting x as two, the breadth was five x, five into the value of x, that's ten meters. Height was four x, that's four into two, which is eight meters. And finally, the third part, we have to find the total surface area of cuboid. Apply the formula two lb plus bh plus hl, and putting the values in the formula: one sixty, eighty, one twenty-eight. Adding all, three sixty-eight. Two multiplied by three hundred and sixty-eight is seven hundred and thirty-six. Meter square. Okay. After number five, number six will be your homework. Uh, now moving on to solution number seven. The length, breadth, and the height of a room is given as nine, five point six, and three point five meters. You have to find first thing is you have to find the area of the four walls. And as I told you, area of four walls is nothing else but L S A. That's the lateral surface area. Apply the formula two h L plus b. Now putting the values. Two h means two multiplied by height. L plus B seven point zero multiplied by fourteen point six. That's one zero two point two meter square. And next part, they are asking you find the number of tiles required. Uh, they are asking you find the number of tiles required to cover the floor of the room. Now, first of all, they have given you the size of the tile. One tile size is ninety centimeters by fifty centimeters. Now the room dimensions are in meters, and the tile dimensions are given in centimeters. So the first thing we'll do is we'll change centimeters into meters. So centimeters into meters. When you convert it, you have to divide it by hundred. You get zero point nine zero, and this is again meters, and divided by hundred, zero point five zero. That's again in meters. Now what is the area of one tile? Each tile. That's L into B. Ninety into fifty. You can do it in this way, or after converting, zero point nine zero into zero point five zero, which is zero point four five zero zero meter square. And finally, to find number of tiles required to cover the floor. Now, as you have to cover the floor, you should know what is the area of the floor. And area of the floor is L into B. That's length multiplied by breadth, fifty point four meter square. To find number of tiles. Because we have to cover the floor, so area of the floor divided by area of each tile. Fifty point four divided by zero point four five zero zero. Remove the decimals: one digit, one zero, four digits, and four zeros. And on cancelling, we get one hundred and twelve tiles. Question number eight. They have given you the length of the room, the breadth of the room, and the height of the room. A part of that, they have given that there are two doors. The length and the breadth of the room is given. There are windows, three windows, and the length and the breadth of the window is also given to you. And we have to find the first part. They are asking you here. You can see, you have to find area of the four walls, but you have to exclude the doors and the windows. And second part, you have to find the cost of distempering from inside. That's the inside of the walls, and the rate is given as rupees two. Now, first of all. As we have to find area of the four walls, that's the room dimensions. Apply the formula of L S A or area of four walls: two h L plus b, two into height length plus breadth, and we get area of four walls as one hundred and four meter square. Now coming to door, the length and the breadth. So area of one door because this is single door dimensions: L into b, 
and that's 1.5 meter square but in total there are two doors so whatever is the area of one door multiplied with, with two 3.0 meter square same thing we'll do for window area of one window is ln to b that's now the breadth was given in centimeters so we have converted into meters by dividing it by 100 we get it at 0 0.80 meters so multiply and you get your area of one window as 0 0.96 meters square and in total there are three windows so area of three windows is 0 0.96 multiplied by 3 that's 2.88 meter square and now finally to find area of four walls or LSA but excluding the doors and the windows so from LSA you have to subtract the area of two doors and you have to subtract area of three windows so on subtracting this you get 98.12 meter square next part cost of distempering distempering the room that's painting the room from inside is the cost that is given and the area to be distempered like wherever you want to distemper you want to paint that area and that area is of the walls so cost multiplied by area of four walls that just now we calculated as 98.12 and multiply we get at 196.24 rupees